What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. We're still alive, thankfully, up to Episode 10, so this was amazing thus far that we survived this much. I thought I'd die, like, a lot sooner because, you know, we're messing around with the Nether and all that kind of stuff. And speaking of the Nether, uh, between this episode and last episode, I said I wanted to go back to the Nether and continue mine to find more of that Netherite or, like, the ancient debris or whatever to turn into, like, Netherite, like, scrap, and then to make Netherite ingots out of that by combining it together with some gold. Unfortunately, I didn't find any, and apparently I was, like, really, really lucky last episode to actually find any at all, because apparently you can only find, like, maybe, like, what, one to three or something like that per chunk, and I found three of them all, like, at once, like, within two minutes of mining, like, at that, at that level. So that was kind of crazy, stupid lucky. And, uh, well... I went mining for like, I don't even know how long, uh, you guys know all those pickaxes I had at the end of last episode, used all those up in the nether, even made like, seven more pickaxes and, uh, used all those up until I had just two left over right there, and I was just like, you know what, I, I, I'm not gonna find any here right now, so, forget about it, I think what we're gonna do is try and do what you guys commented about, to make either beds, or, I do have some wool right there, I guess I would make, a uh, shear, I don't know if I have shears yet, but I guess I'll make some, so there you go. Uh, let's make some shears, maybe find some sheep, and make some beds and explode those in a nether. Because apparently, the ancient, uh, not ancient scrap, ancient debris is, oh yeah, I'm going to need more wood than that, uh, a little bit more. Uh, there you go, that should, that, should, that should be fine. But apparently it's not, like, explodable or whatever, so that's, that's really cool. So we could actually use beds in the nether to hopefully find the, uh, like, ancient debris or whatever like that a little bit easier. So that's going to be really cool, so... Kind of want to go see if we can find any more sheep to, uh, you know what, uh, should I get my ender chest? I, I don't know, I, I don't, by the way, I made the other ender chest and it's right there. Oh, it's nighttime right now, okay, let's go to bed. But I made another ender chest and I uh, haven't placed it down yet, and I guess what we could do this episode is make our base over in the nether using all that wood that we got, that, like, what's it called? The warp wood or warp stem? We could use that to make our base in the nether over at the nether fortress, so that's going to be really cool, but for right now, I guess we're going to do a rare instance of explo- Oh! Man, I almost just died right there. <laughs> of exploring above ground to hopefully find the, uh, hold on. There it is right there. There's the shears. Uh, hopefully find some, like, sheep or something. Actually, actually, you know what? I do have one lead right there. Maybe I can get, like, multiple sheep and just start, like, a sheep farm or something like that over here. Or, uh, oh, you know what? We could do that over in the other base kind of get that started. You know, if we're in the nether fortress and the bee overworld base that we have over there, I guess we could do that. Hmm. Because if I'm going to, like, start wrangling up critters and stuff like that, it might make more sense. I guess I can get some slime balls just in case I come across any more uh, creatures. Um, string, there you go. Uh, but I guess what we could do is get some more... Oh, wait, how do you make it again? Oh, there it is. I guess you can't do it the reverse way, like, uh, like this. Okay. Well, there you go. We can get more leads like that. Oh, wait, yeah, I add more strength. So there you go. And another craft right there. So we have eight leads right there. But yeah, if we're going to start wrangling up critters, we might as well go do it over at the other overworld base that I want to start actually building sometime, right? Oh, man, a random enderman right there. He's got flowers. He brought me flowers. He's so nice. <laughs> but let's go back into the nether. Go back to another fortress. And, uh, oh, man, if we're going to go to another fortress, too, I should start over there. With the uh, the other bait, man, I keep going back. <laughs> I'm never going to I'm never going to get anything done. I'm just going to keep coming over here and remembering that I need to get stuff. Oh, and by the way, I looked it up with the Guild of Blackstone. Yeah, it is just like a uh, what is it, gravel and flint, where you could like break this like multiple times to try and get uh, gold nuggets out of it. Kind of like you can break gravel multiple times to try and get uh, flint out of it. So that's really interesting in that regard. But uh, we have warp stems there. Is there anything else I might want to bring? Like maybe blackstone or something like that. Yeah, I guess you can get some of the blackstone just to get a little bit of decoration, I suppose. Uh, there's already nether bricks over there because of the nether fortress, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Basalt, polished blackstone. Uh, by the way, I put up the, uh, oh, more of it right there. Put up all the nether rack over I guess I can grab one stack just in case I need that for building or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I, oh, I guess what we could do. Do I have any TNT? Or can I make some TNT? I know I have some gunpowder from killing some creepers throughout the series. I wonder if that creeper's still back here, though. The back room, there's a creeper hat, uh, in there, haha. -ha. Uh, I don't know. How's there gra- what? Oh, it's probably an Enderman brought that there. Speaking of Enderman, I wonder if that's the same Enderman that we just saw that brought me flowers. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know where that creeper was. I really wish he was still here, though, because I, I know he was here. I was chasing him around, or like, running away from him. Whenever I was, uh, 
in here off camera that one time, but whatever. I guess he's gone or despawned or dead or something like that, I don't know. But, let's go up to the, uh, to the nether fortress. It's gonna take me a little while, and once we actually build the base over in the nether, and then of course the, the other base in the other overworld area, then I guess off camera I'm gonna have to do a lot of, like, transporting between, because we've got a lot of items over here. I guess I just transport, like, uh, you know, the most important stuff, like the, the diamond. Well, I have just one diamond, I think, right now, but, you know, diamonds and uh, gold and iron and all that stuff. I, I guess I'll just, and of course, we have the ender chest. Once once we actually set that up, uh, do we still have that? In our, okay, that's good. We still have it in our inventory, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, once we have the ender chest and all that kind of stuff over there, we can actually transport items a little bit easier, so that's going to be really good. So transport it both in my inventory, as well as the, like, 9 by... Is it, is it 9 or 10? I forget. Uh, but, you know, the 3 by 9 slash 10 or whatever that is. Uh, so we can basically transport like 30 more stacks of items with the ender chest. That's going to be really... By the way, whenever I was mining, I didn't go like back over to where we found the other netherite. Because uh, you guys did say, yeah, you can only find like 1 to 3 per chunk. So I just came over here by the nether fortress, started digging down over here, and you know what? Ah, uh, should I use any... Oh man, I... I even said, oh, do I have any TNT? Do I have any uh, gunpowder? Kind of want to see how many... Uh, I got so distracted by that one, that one uh, creeper that was in the back room. I'm gonna go see how much uh, gunpowder, because we, uh, we might actually have some sand. We might be able to make a few TNT, so we could use beds to explode, as well as actual TNT to explode in the nether, both in the nether fortress to, you know, expand that out and maybe start building our actual base by that portal, as well as to kind of find some netherite underground, if that's, uh, gonna be really good, because you guys did say, yeah, that's what other people do, is that they, uh, get either beds or TNT and explode that. I've got 16 gunpowder. Okay, how much sand do I have? If I even have any, I might have, uh... Yeah, I think I used all the sand to uh, repair that creeper hole that we had a little while ago, so that sucks. I guess I'll get a shovel real quick, and we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves a little bit of sand real quick. Uh, what am I going on? I'm gonna get rid of those planks, get those sticks. Alright, we're good. I've got the 16 gunpowder. Guess I'll go grab some, uh, sand real quick, and also, uh, how much... Is it... I forget if it's 5 or 4, uh, gunpowder you need per TNT. Uh, we might be able to make, like, four TNT right now, three or four or something like that, but, uh, I guess I'll go grab, I don't know, like, 20 or something like that, uh, sand over here. Shouldn't be too hard, because we do have a beach area-ish right here. I guess I can just go across over here, and by the way, once we actually build the other base over in that, like, bee biome, that, like, flower forest or whatever that's called over there, I suppose we could actually, like, make another, uh, enchantment room area really, really easily now, because look at all these sugar cane we have over here, and I haven't even harvested it yet, like, a while, so I guess I get rid of those oak fences just because we can make a uh, fence out of the other uh, nether stems and all that kind of stuff, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. And by the way, yeah, I did also light this all up over here, which is really good, so, you know, prevent stuff from spawning in, make it a lot easier for me to harvest this stuff, so that's really good, but, uh, how much sand do we have? We have, like, 30 stuff. Let me go up to, like, a stack. That, that, that should be more than enough. You know, just in case we come across any creepers on the other side, at least we'll already have another uh, bunch of sand to kind of combine with our gunpowder, and we almost have a stack right now, so that's good. And we've got about a stack right now, so that's good. Alright, well, let me just pause the recording real quick, you guys. Head on over to the Nether Fortress. That's going to take a little while, and uh, thankfully we're not going to ho hopefully not do that too much more often, because we're finally moving our base from here to the other area with the Nether Fortress and the uh, the overworld that's on the other side of that Nether Fortress is Nether Portal. So that's going to be really fun, but like I said, let me just pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here over at the Nether Fortress, where we're finally going to build our heckin' base in the Nether and use a bunch of heckin' explosives to kind of dig it out. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, back. I'm over here at the, uh, the Nether Fortress, and I suppose what we could do is... Oh yeah, this goes back a little bit further than I thought. Hmm. So here's the portal itself. Where should we... build the base? I'm like, I kinda like this. I guess we can keep this as like some sort of like window, I suppose you could call it. So that sounds really cool, you guys. Let's just place some torches back here. Now let's just continue on, or is this actually the... Oh, it does continue on. Uh, yeah, it just ends like right there, so I might as well just like stop building like right... Or, uh, uh, whatever you call it, stop digging like right there, so there you go, and drop those, get the shears back. Now let's see, I guess we'll just build the base like this way then, huh? Now I forget, it's been a while since I've ever done the nether bed thing, so I don't know if it's going to explode if I just place the bed down immediately, or... Oh! Okay, I think I might have to try and sleep in it and then it'll explode, so let me just see how far away can I get, still click on it. Oh! Oh my god, that's a huge explosion! I did not think that explosion was going to be that big. Oh my gosh. Oh my, and there's fire everywhere too. Man. Oh man, I just thought. Oh, there's lava right there. I didn't take care of that. There's the source block right there. But uh, I just thought 
Yeah, I don't have a way of exploding that. I guess what I could do is maybe every other block will have a TNT and then a, at the very start, we could put a bed to kind of ignite them. Because I don't have a way of igniting. I don't have redstone. I don't have flint and steel right now, you know? So I, I suppose that's what we could do to kind of explode some uh, some TNT underground or something like that, you know? But uh, yeah, that was a pretty huge like, explosion right there. <laughs> I might not even need to explode too much more, honestly. So uh, thankfully, we have a lot of uh, netherrack right now. We can actually repair this all up. And uh, speaking of having like a view, I guess I could use some of these like nether. Oh, I don't have an inventory space. And we have some gold nuggets right there we can get. Might as well pat out all the fire over here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, yeah, that's part of my, uh... Uh... I guess, yeah, probably from, like, here. This is this is going to be the ground. Just because I don't want to dig into that tunnel there, you know? So I guess this will be the ground of our base. Or at least the, the furthest will, like, be down, you know, for the base. So there's that. And then I guess we could, like, either step up to go into another fortress. Or I guess... Yeah, you know what? I guess this will just be the ground, huh? So... Maybe, like, right here, we'll just, uh, start doing this. There we go. And then, uh, I guess we'll just kind of flatten out another rack all the way out to that wall over there. And I don't know how- if I'm gonna explode another TNT here, or, uh, bed here, or what. Uh, there's all the- oh, we have more netherrack right there. But this is actually pretty opened up like guys is, you know? So, I might be able to just use some of that, uh, that wood to kind of use as decoration here. And, uh, you know, that way it breaks up the monotony of all the red that we've got going on. Because we have that, that blue wood, which is really cool. So, let's just get rid of that, get rid of that. Now we've got this, like, big cave area up here, which is really cool. Nice. Now, I like how natural, <laughs> I guess you could say, it looks right here. It's not, like, all square or anything like that. So, maybe, like, right here, we'll try and, like, square it off a little bit. And we could use this as, like, the storage wall or something. Or, like, furnaces. That sounds really cool. Just to make it look a little bit more natural. There you go. And, uh, place a torch. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, and we have the warp stem here. What should I do with this, though? Maybe, like, right here, and grab this. And then we can place the warp stem like this. There we go. And, hmm. What else could I do here? I guess do this. Do this. And then on the other side, another fortress. I guess we'll put the wood there and just kind of have it look like decoration. I guess an outline or something like that, you know? So there you go. And how's that look? Ooh, that actually looks kind of crazy there. Huh. What else could I do? Maybe just put the, uh, or I guess I could do this. There you go. Boom. And there's the nether fortress, or uh, another portal right there. Huh. Okay. What's it look like from the other side? That looks kind of interesting. Hmm, should I open it up and that way I can see it from this side too, or what? Because I kind of like that. It looks kind of interesting. Maybe I'll, uh, I kind of want to put another one where it's like that. Put it right there, and then another one right there. That, that'd look really cool, but there's another portal right there. I don't know if I want to make this open up all the way over to here, you know? I'll have to explode another bed, and I don't want to... <laughs> Hold on. That was a pretty big explosion, so if we did do another bed... Where would that be? Right here. Let's try this. How far away? Because even, even as far away as I was... Can I click on that? It's hard to see the little black outline. And, let's see. Oh! Okay, there, okay, that takes us basically right next to the nether, uh, nether portal. I don't know why I keep wanting to go. I guess I'm in a nether fortress right now. That, that explains it. What? What? Wait, what? No way! What are the, hold on. I'm at, wait, I'm too high up, aren't I? Do you guys see what I see? What are the odds? Hold on. I have to look this up. Okay, ancient debris. I'm looking it up right now. It, you guys did say, or at least I read in the comments, that it's supposed to spawn basically at like diamond level, so why is it all the way up here? Ancient debris generates in the nether in the form of a mineral veins. Up to two veins may generate per chunk. One vein of one to three. Okay, so one vein can have one to three, you guys said. Not just like one to three per chunk. Ancient debris attempts to generate with a periodic normal dish of whatever that means. <laughs> From levels 8 to 22 and an additional vein of 1 to 2 ancient debris attempts to generate randomly from levels 8 to 119. So this was extreme luck right there, you guys. Only 1 to 2 ancient debris attempts to generate randomly from 8 to 19, 119. And we just found one just by exploding a bed right there? Uh, is there more? Because that, that's just one, I see. There could be a second one, like, right next to it in that vein, perhaps. Hold on. 
Let's get rid of all the, the fire here. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Because remember, we have... Oh, is there another one here? I don't see one just yet, but uh, look at that. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I know that on the top right it says targeted block, Minecraft, ancient debris. Yeah, I know I can... I, and then netherrack, and then fire. <laughs> I know that I can look at it right there to see what that uh, block was, but yeah, I, I was like completely in the moment last episode when I saw the ancient debris. I didn't know what that was. So, uh, one wool. I'm like it's somewhat valuable, at least right now. So, oh, 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 that's iron. That's iron. Let's get it with the diamond. Hopefully it's done fall on top of like fire. Right? Hold on, let's dig around it. Is that just one? I think it is. Yep, that is just one. Let's just uh, pat that back up. So. If I didn't try and expand this base out a little bit more, we might have had our base, like, on top of one, uh, ancient debris for who knows how many episodes, and I wouldn't even even known it. That would have been crazy, you guys. But, uh, oh, let's place down the ender chest. Where do I want to place that down? You know what? Maybe I'll place it down, like, right, right next to the, uh... Hmm. I do like this area here, though. And this, the, okay, this, this line, this wall kind of lines up with another portal as well as this wall here, so... Maybe here I said this might be like the storage wall or something. Maybe we'll place down the uh, the ender chest like right here. So let's do this. There you go. And place the ancient debris inside there. So there you go. So we can go uh What do we do? We smelt that or something, I forget. And then the, the netherite scrap that we get out of that, we combine four of those together with four gold ingots to get a netherite ingot. So uh, right now. Oh, is that gonna be our fourth netherite scrap? Hold on, you guys. We might be able to make a, uh, a netherite ingot now. Hold on. Let me try and try and clean this up a little bit. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, this is up a little bit higher. I thought. Hold on. Let's try and make this uh, level. And uh, there's still some fire there, but it's not that big of a deal. But holy heck, what are the... Oh, let's get this off the screen, too. What are the heck... I guess those were the heckin' odds, huh? One to two blocks that spawned eight to 118 or whatever. And there's who, who knows how many hundreds or thousands of blocks per chunk. Man, that was crazy luck right there, you guys. I bet some of you guys are freaking out in the comments. Sheesh. <laughs> because I know I am. Golly. Anyways, uh, yeah, we should be able to finish this floor with a 14 uh, another axe. So there you go. And this is basically finished right here, so that's good. And I do like how natural-ish this, this turns out. Uh, there you go. I don't think I'm going to, like, flatten the wall over here. I think I'm going to keep it where it, like, kind of expands out a little bit right there. That's kind of cool. So let's just pat out the fire over here. You know what? The fire in the walls kind of adds some aesthetic. So I think I'll keep that there, honestly. So let's just, uh, let's go back to the other, there you go, the iron efficiency too. Get rid of this little wall right here and just kind of open it up. And I guess this will, at least for right now, be our nether fortress base. And uh, of course we have tons of room to expand this out and there you go. And uh, be able to build more and have more storage and all that kind of stuff. And then right here we have a nice little window with a nice little view. This is really cool. So, man, I'd hate to go back to the, uh, to the base already, because we, I'm like, we have another right scrap right there. Hmm. Do I have a chest? I do not. But I can make a uh, chest with that. There you go, get some. Man, those planks, I like the look of those planks. Really cool. And we have the, uh, the red. Let's place the, there you go. And we have the red, uh, crimson roots that we have around here too that we could use to, uh, to, to build with. So that's quite a really cool, but we can get a chest right there. I, if, if we can get a warp fungus chest, that would have been so cool. Can I place a chest? Yeah, okay, I can place a chest next to an ender chest. That's fine. And I'll, I can also place a trap chest next to a uh, double chest. Uh, I forget how you do that, though. I have to look. Oh, it might just be a, uh, you know, planks all around that redstone in the middle. It might be that. I can't remember for sure. Oh, wait, isn't that a note block? I don't know. I, don't, I forget how you make a trap. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> but either way, uh, let's place some of the stuff up, like the basalt, the warp stem, all that stuff that we have over here. There you go, that I might want to build with for this base, so there's that. Uh, I suppose we can see how much TNT we can make now, I forget how the TNT is made, like how, which, like, where is the gun pad, is it like this? Or if it's, uh, okay, so you do need five, okay, so I can only make three, uh, TNT right now, so there you go. We have one gunpowder left over. Uh, we have a little bit of gold right there, I suppose I'll grab. Now, this is going to upset the piglins around us, but who cares? Because this is our base, and we're, we're pretty much... Oh, I guess we could put up, like, some sort of door or something like that over here, huh? I wonder if they're able to detect me, uh, mining this. By the way, I also looked it up. Yeah, I, I guess they don't care the pig... Or, uh... Yeah, piglins. They don't care if you mine quartz. I don't know if the zombie piglins do, or... Yeah, piglins. I don't know... Oh, whoops! Yeah, this is going to take us to the other base. Oh, what in the world is this still smelting? <laughs> yeah, the, the stuff over here is... Yeah, this is actually... Everything over here got paused <laughs> whenever we left. There's still stuff on the... Like a crimson root or whatever. Or a crimson, uh... 
Another war block, yeah, this is all over here still. What's this base look like again, or this area? I forgot what it looked like. Because remember, we're going to build our base over here too, which is going to be really, really fun, but uh... Yeah, this is not- oh, whoa! Spruce forest there, nice mountain area here. And of course we got like a, a... Oh, oh, sheep! Uh, shears. I see sheep over there, you know what, should we wrangle them up? I think we should, but if we did... Uh, let's go cut down some spruce or something like that, you guys. Cause look at that. Bunch of sheep there, pigs. Let's go get ourselves some spruce. Let's go get ourselves a, uh, a fenced area. This is a nice, flat area over here we could use to make some sort of ranch and just be able to... Oh man, even more sheep over there, golly! Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of sheep just right off the bat, you guys. This is gonna be crazy. But, let's grab all the spruce over here. Just cause I don't want to use that, that warp fungus or warp... Wood or... I've... Warp stem. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of that stuff, sheesh. Yeah, the, the thing about spruce is that it's usually taller than, like, oak, so, uh... Yeah, you know what? I guess we can use this, because at least we'll get, like, spruce fences and it'll be kind of cool looking. It won't just be the default, like, oak looking fences, you know? But yeah, it's going to be kind of... because I don't like having floating blocks and stuff. So, uh... I don't want to cut down the, the spruce that are too big, but let me cut down a few spruce over here. You know, just get enough wood to be able to make a, uh... a decently sized ranch and area for our sheep to kind of hang outside of it. Of course, we'll have to make a, a farm with, like, wheat, so we can actually breed them and stuff a little bit easier, so that's going to be something we'll have to look forward to here in a bit. 22 spruce logs right there. Let's go make another workbench. There you go. And let's go make ourselves a ranching area. And I guess we'll go wrangle up all those uh, sheep that are around here, because we've got eight leads right now, which is crazy. Uh, and they're relatively close to the, to the thing over there, too, so... Let's see, what is a nice flat area we can start out at? Oh, we even have horses right off the bat! And a donkey! Two donkeys, three donkeys? And more sheep? Man! And there's a black sheep back there too! Huh! Man, this area- and there's another sheep back there too! This area is crazy, you guys! That's like some sort of cave. Uh, I guess we could start out like right here, honestly, so... Let's see... At least we're the ranch. So, let's place that down. Let's turn all this into- there you go. And turn a little bit of those into sticks. There you go. And I forget which one it was. I know they changed the heck of craft recipe back in like 1.8 or something like that, but I always forget. Is this the, the gate? It is the gate. Man, I just forget about that. Because back in the day, you could make fences out and literally nothing but sticks. But uh, yeah, they changed that to be sticks in the middle. Spruce planks on the outside. There you go. And I guess that's going to be all. I guess I made too many sticks. Whoops. <laughs> but I guess, uh, there you go. We can start out with the. Oh, I guess I could have made a, a gate. To make it a little bit easier. But uh, for right now. Just do this. And I don't know how big this is going to be, but uh, it's 11 right there. I guess we'll make it 12 just to make it nice and even. So 12, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have to build over this. 11, 12, so. I'll have to fill this in with a little bit of dirt. We'll worry about that here maybe later or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, oh man, I'm not going to have enough fences actually. Man! I'm going to go cut down some more spruce. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty close to being able to finish that, but thankfully I made a shovel relatively recently, so we can, we can just go get a little bit of... Oh, what in the world was that? I was like eating, like the eating animation was going on, but I wasn't like actually eating. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, let's get a little bit of dirt over here, or grass slash dirt, whatever you want to call it. Just kind of fill that in over there, and uh, I guess we're going to wrangle up these sheep over here, you guys. And then hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll head back to our other base. Go smelt that... Uh, Ancient debris, and uh, hopefully we'll get ourselves our very first netherite ingot, you guys. That was extreme, because I don't even know how much time I... Oh, I spent a lot of the dirt just filling in that bit right there, whatever. But I don't know how much time I spent, probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours or something like that, digging, uh, strip mining, no luck finding any netherite over by that nether portal, and then we explode a bed instantly. Netherite right there, or, you know, ancient debris. So that was, that was extremely crazy right there, you guys. But yeah, let me let me continue uh, filling in the, the dirt over here, and then uh, building the, the ranch and area. And then I guess I'll also wrangle up the sheep off camera as well, just because I'm like, that's not going to be too crazy. And of course, they'll probably like break the leads as well, and that'll be a whole thing. <laughs> but uh, oh man, that's a lot of dirt or uh, gravel right there. Sheesh. I guess if I ever need gravel or flint or whatever to make who knows what, a bunch of arrows, I guess. I guess I will never have a problem getting uh, flint slash gravel slash whatever right there. Sheesh. That's kind of crazy. Either way, yeah, like I said, let me just pause the recording real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit, where hopefully we're gonna have ourselves a nice little ranch right here, yep. And then, 
maybe be out our other base to make ourselves a very first netherite ingot and maybe use that to uh i think we might have one diamond at home because we'll repair this diamond pick up to full durability and then turn it into netherite i forget if you can upgrade an enchanted thing to netherite or i guess i'll look that up too but i guess i'll enchant or uh, repair the diamond pick all the way up to full durability and then we'll enchant it afterwards because i'm like at least right now we'll we'll be able to get a tier two enchantment maybe i'll try and uh, mine some quartz or something like that to get up to level 30 just because i'm like a another right pick might as well get that up to tier three enchantment right sheesh but yeah let me let me do all that stuff real quick and i'll see you guys here in just a bit all right you guys are back i'm back at the base and unfortunately didn't go all the way up to level 30 i couldn't find enough stuff i just didn't want to waste too much more time i like i don't know what level we were just a moment ago but yeah we're up to level 28 right now though so that's good anyways over here at the ender chest we have our ancient debris so let's grab that and i think we have to like smelt it right or something let's see yep there you go just smelt it oh that was a waste of coal right there but whatever <laughs> not that big of a deal but this should give us our fourth netherite scrap and of course that means boom there you go and i guess is there anything i can cook over here though uh everything's already cooked i think yeah i don't know if there's any uh, any ores i doubt i have any ores i've already uh yeah i've already smoked like everything all right whatever anyways so grab the netherite scraps grab ourselves a little bit of gold ingots and i forget the pattern it needs to be it needs to be like that and like this <gasps> The very first netherite scrap in the whole season. In the whole series, I guess, thus far. <laughs> netherite. Or, did I just call this netherite scrap? Cut that out of the video. The first netherite ingot in the whole season. In the whole series. Right here. Boom. We, uh, we didn't even get an achievement for that. What? Okay, whatever. Oh, wait, yeah, we did right there. Or, uh, new recipes unlocked, at least. Didn't even get an achievement. Whatever. Anyways, I assume now we're able to do this. Oh my gosh. Netherite pickaxe. 2,000 durability, 1,500. Is that 1,700? Is that worth it? To I think it is. Oh, that's going to take even more levels, though. Ooh, and I only have one diamond right now because I didn't go, like, overworld mining. Oh, that's going to take two levels. Golly. Let's do it. That's going to be a full durability diamond pick. Boom. And let's see. What are we going to get? There you go. Six attack damage. 5 attack damage, 1.2 attack speed. Let's do it, you guys. Now, are we going to get an achievement for this? Or I'm actually kind of surprised because... Is this, is this possible? Yep, I could do it here, too. I think I'm going to do the pick. Do you guys think I should do the pick or the chest piece? Because the chest piece is amazing. I probably should have repaired... Eh, it would have been expensive attack. Like, both diamond-wise as well as uh, level-wise. Oh, you know what? We're around the 30 minute mark, I think. I'm not going to do anything just yet. I'm going to let you guys choose. What should we do? What what should we upgrade with our very first and only netherite ingot thus far? Because I don't want to do the pickaxe and be like, oh man, I should have done the chest piece. I don't want to do the chest piece and be like, oh, I should have done the pickaxe. I don't know if there's anything like special that only a netherite pick can do. Oh, what does this say? Eight armor. Eight armor. Eight armor. Three armor toughness and one knockback resistance. Ooh. So we get another armor toughness and then knockback resistance. Durability is the... No, it's just a little bit more. Man, that is... That is and it has unbreaking too, so... Un unbreaking three as well. <laughs> so that's really good. What do you guys think? It, maybe I should put it on a different piece of armor. There are my... Oh yeah, protection four and unbreaking. Hmm. And then we have protection three, unbreaking three. <laughs> and I, just for curiosity's sake, I don't think I can do it to the gold, right? don't think yep you can only do it to diamond what do you guys think L let me know in the comments down below what should i do what should i upgrade diamond pick diamond or uh, netherite pick netherite chest piece netherite leggings or netherite boot at least for right now for our very first piece of netherite because i don't want to do the wrong thing on camera and then read a bunch of comments saying i should have done this and that <laughs> so i'm going to leave it up to you guys let me know in the end of course be sure to hit the like button on comments you guys agree with. That way I know a lot of you guys agree and say hi, that I should do that instead of uh, another comment. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think I should do? I'm going to end the episode right here so I can read you guys' comments. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next episode, we're going to find out what we're going to be enchanting slash upgrading. So, yeah, upgrade. Just, just upgrade. Well, as well as enchanting, we're going to 
If we do the pick, we're going to be enchanting it at least because all this stuff is already enchanted, right? But you guys won't want to miss next episode where we're finally going to get our very first piece of netherite, I guess, gear in the form of a pickaxe. I guess we could do the sword too, huh? You get, let me know in the comments. Do you guys like it? Oh, 10 attack damage, 9 attack damage. Same attack speed. Let me know in the comments down below. Armor, pickaxe, sword, what should I do? <laughs> a hoe? Maybe I should do uh, a netherite hoe. Can you even do that though? I don't know. I don't have enough. I don't have a diamond hoe, unfortunately. Well, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think I should do? And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. Oh my god, there's the Enderman again in the background with the, with the flower. <laughs> you guys see that? He's still holding the flower back there. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.